Hi. Hello. Welcome. So, what I got? You come here. You sit next to me. Leah, 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 or Leah, Leah, or Leah, 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 Oh, come on, you're cute. You taught her that, no? Oh, clever, I had a delegation. So, how are you? Welcome to Lisbon, welcome to Portugal. How did the first real song? Muito fish. Oh, my God. Huh? Really cool, that's what she said. Muito fish. How do you not speak Portuguese? And because I don't know that. Not at all. Yeah, but you already sang in Portuguese. Yes, but I just learned, you know, by feeling. Uh -huh. I didn't know what I talk about. But you don't know what I'm talking about? No, I know what, I, what <laughs> you're talking about, but I don't know what Portuguese people are talking about. I mean, the song. If you're talking about the Sábado Sobral. Yeah, because uh, you were in the TV show, we have that TV show in Portugal as well. Yeah. That face uh, looks familiar. Mm -hmm. And you impersonated, you sang Amar pelos dois, last year's winning song, song from Sábado Sobral. Why did you choose that song? I didn't, they did. Oh, because they give you the songs, yeah. that's right. They gave me the you song me that. and I was in the shop because I said, oh my God, it's my first imitation. And in Portuguese, yeah, it was my first one. Um, thanks to God, I, I love that song. I love Salvador, and I was very happy for that, but you know, it, with Portuguese, <laughs> that's why I heard it. You know, ah. and when I started, it was Sandia, Game, Old Game, Old Game, Old Game. But everyone in Slovenia was, oh, that was perfect, you know, but I didn't know what I talked about. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you, I, I watched the, the video online and I was speechless because it's really, really, really good. And <laughs> that's why I was asking if you speak Portuguese. No, I don't. Uh, do you remember a bit of the song? Yes, of course I do. Can you perform it for us a little Yes. Bit? Thank you very, very much. I start and then you, you can say stop when I, when no, I do it No, I will wrong. never say stop ever. They will. They will. No, no, they, they are really the judges. Don't. They are the judges. <laughs> They're not allowed to. Sandy Alwim Pregunta por mim Diz que vivi para te amar Antes de ti só existi Cansado sem nada para dar Meu bem, ouve as minhas preces Penso que regresses, que me voltas a querer Ok, is that my concert? Oh my god! Thank you for that! Oh Thank my you. god! No, it's, it's amazing, isn't it? And it's, the Portuguese is good, believe me. I'm Portuguese, I know. Sure? I, I know. But, <laughs> Pedro okay. is not Portuguese, that, that's Spanish. No, what? Pedro, the name. No, Pedro is Portuguese as well. Really? Uh, I heard that only in telenovelas. Like, Pedro! Spain is our brother country, it's not an orphan, so. <laughs> so it's a, it, and it's a good name, it means stone. Uh, but it's a good name. Uh, so you are what we usually call in Eurovision a Eurovision Song Contest professional. Because you really like this, don't you? Thank you. No, no, you really like the show. You got, it was not the first, you already tried to come to Eurovision yeah, before, yeah. in 2009. In <laughs> I was very bad. Uh, why did you say that? <laughs> because I know that. That's why it didn't happen before. <laughs> Should I ask? Uh, no, but you were a back vocal singer in 2014, in 2014 and 2016. Yeah, that's right. You were not bad at that. No, as a oh, backing okay. singer, yeah. I was always with, not once with Karin, who is always uh, also this year with me. That was a very nice time, yeah. being a backing singer. This year I need to talk a little bit But now you're the lead singer. Yeah. The responsibility is bigger. It's Come different. On. What can I do? It's different or if the spirit is the same. It's almost the same. I need to sing, I need to sing it correctly and to be... It doesn't matter if you're the lead or if you're the backing. No. No, it's even, even well, more difficult if you're a backing singer because yeah. you need to, to, you know, to be there to, to help the leader. As a leader, I'm, I, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> I'm free! I'm free, you know, <laughs> I can stop singing, I can stop dancing, say it's enough of not enough with Eurovision. And you I go, cannot. And she cannot. So, no. she cannot. <laughs> She's Karin. Mm -hmm. What? Karin is Yeah, let's name. introduce Karin. Yeah, who, come who on. Who do you have? Who, who, who do we have here? Hi. 
my name is Taira. I'm Pedro. Hi. <laughs> Hi, my name is Anya. I'm Pedro. Hi. Hi, my name is Karin. Also. Yes. Hi, my name is Veronica. And I'm Karin. Let's yeah, just start already. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sun. Hi, my name is Sun. Hey, my name is You know, my name is Lea. That's the start of my song. Yeah. It's a great song. You, you have fun there. That's, yeah. that's a good thing. You studied uh, classical flute. Isn't yeah. that right? Yeah. I'm um, a very classical person. Yeah, and then you See? and then you played in orchestras. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, yeah. when did the change happen? I'm a mother of two kids. Ah, with that kind of responsibility. I was bored. Huh? <laughs> no, I I was. I was always in my life, I, I was very, I was a good girl, you know, good at school, good at, uh, you know, everything it was always ordinary things, you know, everything was okay. But then I was bored, you know, I, I, I needed something, and first I colored my hair, and then all my family was looking at me saying, Le, are you okay? <laughs> and I said, I don't know, I don't care because I feel good. And yeah, the song is not I feel good, but it's quite similar. Why, why pink? Why pink? Actually, I don't like pink color. Why? <laughs> Sorry, it's something. Uh, because uh, I find it stupid. Because you know, it's pink. You know. But what's wrong with pink? It's similar to pig. Oh, a pig. Yeah, but there are beautiful things in pink, like flowers. In pink or pig? No, oh, in pink. Pink, pink flowers are beautiful. No, it, that was a mistake. I wanted to be red, uh -huh. but the red was very, very bad uh -huh. because um, I look too white, you know. Um, so <laughs> then I, I waited a little bit, and it just became pink. And I said, it's okay. Like, what do you like when you see yourself in the mirror? You like. So why don't you do change you like it? Me? Do you like me? Yeah. So Come on, it's their time. It's your time now. Who has questions for Leah? Yes, please. Hi, hi Leah. Alison Birch from Eurofile. I understand you you um, run a music school and you own a music school as well. So, um, what advice do you have for someone who sees your performance on Thursday and is inspired to think, I'd like to do that as well? And how old is too old to start singing? Hmm. Interesting. I'm sure you're not too old to start singing if you, if you, if you didn't start it before. <laughs> um, I think we all sing all our lives, so uh, if we find it naturally, if we find that nice, if we feel happy, that's the right point to start at. Um, as an owner of my school, I would say I always like to start with kids because they are fresh, they, they think differently. And I think I changed myself because of them. Um, they always bring me new music, new stuff. Sometimes I don't, I don't understand what they bring to me. But then I try to, to, to feel, to, to see what they think about. And then I start to write new song and songs and Halane is actually the result of that. Thank you. Next question. Yes, please. Hello, Leah. It's JP from Radio International. Good afternoon. Yeah. Uh, my question is, you have been to the Eurovision Song Contest 2014 and 16 as backing vocalist. What kind of experience did you bring with you in order to do this Eurovision Song Contest as the lead artist? Huh. Actually, it's easier. Because uh, as a backing singer, you see how the procedure is going on. So uh, there are many interviews, many things that just just take the energy from yourself. But nobody thinks about what will happen when you go on stage. So you need to, to stay calm, to to keep the energy, and so this is the bigger experience. I know how the stage is big. Um, I know how people are waiting, are excited about your performance, about your song. You never see that so many people know knowing your song by heart, even in Slovenia, you know? So I'm excited, but I feel okay, I'm not nervous, I, I, I'm calm, and I have a very good team with me, so I'm okay. 
and it brought blue and red from 2016. Yeah. Blue and red is pink, so you got it as well. <laughs> oh, okay. Next question, do you have it? I like the pink color. Yeah, why don't you like pink? You like yellow? No. No, so you don't match. So like black. Madeleine Popova, EurovisionBulgaria.com. Hi, Lea. Faone okay. means no thanks. And can you tell us the most common situation when you got to tell it? Who? Oh, actually, I have one. I have one uh, big thing in my life that happens few years happened few few years ago. Um, when I was studying flute, I I made some. Um, some auditions for the opera first flutist. So there were, there were very big things. And I went to Finland. Uh, I got a very good job as a first soloist, uh, flutist in opera. And they asked me to stay in Finland for a very good salary and everything. And I said, Hvala no, Hvala ne, Hvala no, what? You mean single language? Can I say it in Slovenia? Uh, so I said, Hvala ne, because I know I, I want to move back to Slovenia. I love my family, I love people from Slovenia, and I feel good in Slovenia. So I think we need to say, we need to know when to say Hvala ne, because there are many things that seem to be gold and light in your life, but they're not, they're just a confusion. But sometimes it's difficult to say Yeah, it's, it's almost every yeah. day. When I see a very nice guy, you know, passing through and I just say I would say Kvala, yeah. Not my case, of course. But uh, in that situation, with the, the story you were telling about Finland, uh, was difficult to you to say no? Because it was a really, was an opportunity. Yeah, it was a very big opportunity. I mean, all people around me were like, of course, are you crazy? And I said, no. Oh, so it was not what? very difficult, was it? No. No, I just said no. I really, I said hvala ne. <laughs> not for me, but I said hvala ne. I don't know how is that in, in, in other language, but it's okay. I said hvala ne because I didn't feel it. I wanted to go home after five years of studying flute in Geneva. And I felt okay. It was okay. Yeah, you were home sick and that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. Yes, please. Thank you. Hello, Morten from ESE Norway. I wonder who came up with the idea that you, during the show, have this technical error? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> we actually <laughs> did something in um, our song. We know we're from Slovenia, it's a very small country, it's very difficult to be, uh, to be seen by so many uh, other bigger countries, you know. You're in Portugal, and, we get that. Yeah, <laughs> you know how that means. Um, and we wanted to do something special in our song and we have something special in the middle of the song. It's a break, nothing else. So last question, yes please. Hi, welcome Hi. to Lisbon. Uh, I'm Pedro from Spanish Factus. Another Pedro, see? And uh, how many people do we have here? Yes, it's a very common name. The next press conference, yeah. it will be another Pedro interviewing you. They know you. Oh, okay, good to know. So just memorize that name, it will work for a lot of people. I did all Sorry, right. Pedro, you were asking your question. So, how you decided to introduce the Obrigado now uh, in the final part of your song today? I did it already in uh, our national selection in Slovenia. Uh, I never expected to win, so... Uh, when, they, when they said, and if we win, I said, if, if I win, we do whatever we want. And then we went to the stage, we were singing, and I just said, Obrigado now, now. It, it was so cool, you know. I love your language, so... Um, oh, now you love it? Yeah, no, <laughs> I, said, I said in Slovenia that it sounds um, Albanian. Albanian? Yeah. But in Slovenia that means something else, because uh, we have many Albanians in Slovenia, so they always... And when I heard Portuguese, it was almost the same. Uh, so I said it in Slovenia, nobody was happy. 
But um, I find that what what are the best, you know? <laughs> I know, no. Uh, <laughs> yes, I do that in my song. <laughs> so you already know part of it. Um, I find that, that language very nice. So brigada now is something that match perfect in that song. So always when I go abroad, I I, I use the the, the the native language. So you'll hear it also later. Now, you played in orchestras before. Yeah. Uh, you are one of those persons that actually miss having an orchestra on the stage in Eurovision. Not at all. Not at all. No. No, I don't know what to do. If, if we would have an orchestra here, I mean, <laughs> making an arrangement uh, for Hvala yeah, Day with fun. orchestra, that would be like you all the time the violin. <laughs> <laughs> with me to make something of it. Um, so for me it's okay, maybe for Salvador that would be perfect. <laughs> for Kvalane it's, it's just okay. You played the flute. I would be Kvalane uh, in the flute, the classical flute. <laughs> Sing. La 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 <laughs> Okay, I have to, to ask the last question. You have two kids. Yeah. They are two, two and a half and five years old. Yeah. Um, they are here with you. Yeah. <laughs> How are they living all this experience? They know they have a very strange mother <laughs> since they were born. So um, we're actually friends. Uh, it's difficult to say that because uh, I'm very sad if they're not with me, and they're sad if I'm not with them. That's why you brought. That's why I took them. Yeah, I just made that decision two days before we we came here. It's a good decision. Yeah. I think it's a good decision yes, because I, I'm calm right now. I know they will leave in a few days, but they were here with me, they were part of it. Yes. And that's the, the best, the most important thing for me. So they'll be home when I will perform, but uh, anyway, the, they used to, to watch me. Did the oldest one give you any advices? <laughs> no, you know what? My, one of my girls, I, her name is I. When I won the national selection, she said, Mama, why? That one didn't win, you know? <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah, it was so strange. In our national selection, it, uh, it was a girl named Lara. Uh, she's actually, she was my student. And my, my, my daughter, no, she knew her from yes. before. And she said, Mama, why Lara didn't win? She's so, she's so much better than you. And I was like, She's just a kid, come on. If we talk to know. our head of delegation, maybe, she, maybe she'll go, you know? Yeah, that didn't happen. Thank you very much. <laughs> very, very, very nice. Thank you. I, I had a great time here. <laughs> wow. So, uh, good luck. Enjoy Portugal. Welcome aboard. Have fun. Keep Todos the aboard. Todos aboard. Oh my god. Todos. Todos aboard. Todos aboard. You see that? Todos aboard. Todos aboard. Todos aboard. Todos aboard. Todos aboard. Todos aboard. Todos aboard.